Hello creators, my name is Shayna from KrausCreations.com and in today's video I'll be walking you through the steps to create this in the hoop key fob. So first starting off, let me go ahead and go over the required supplies for today's project. Size 7.25 size Mighty Hoops. We're going to be using a piece of marine vinyl that I purchased from Joann's. So you can easily find this marine vinyl at your local Joann's or you can look it up online. The other names that it goes by is embroidery leather, faux leather. And this is the back right here. One piece of tearaway stabilizer that is large enough to cover your embroidery hoop. One piece of felt that matches your faux leather. You want to use a piece of felt that matches your key fob color so since I'm using black marine vinyl I'm going to be using black felt fabric so this I either purchased this at Joann's or Michael's I can't remember but it was definitely at a craft store this is craft felt that I found at the craft store you want to ensure that your backing felt is larger than your embroidery hoop Today we will be using cam snaps for the closure. This is the handheld cam snaps tool that we will be using today. In a future tutorial, I'll show you guys this bad boy right here. This is also a cam snap press, but I only use it when I'm making mass production key fobs. It could be used as rivet press, you could use it to cut holes in fabrics. I'll save this for a future tutorial. So I'm the kind of crafter that loves organization. This is how I store my cam snaps. Everything has to be labeled because I don't like not knowing where things are. So the cam snaps that I use are the long prong cam snaps. So I use the long prong cam snaps because I mainly work with marine vinyl. And if you don't use the long prong cam snaps, you may risk the chance of your cam snap popping off. So I just wanted to show you guys that I purchased T5 size 20 long prong. And I purchased this from the cam snaps website. This is how I store my cam snaps, and I'll be choosing a color out of here to complete the key fob.
The bucket is customizable. You can remove these pieces to make them as small or as large as you like. This is purchased from Michaels and I like it because once you close it, you can turn it any which way and your cam snaps will not mix together. The last supply that I would like to share with you are 20 millimeter split rings that look like this. So now we're going to go ahead and hoop our materials. Take the bottom part of your Mighty Hoop. You're going to place your one piece of tearaway, and I'll show you that it's tearaway. So now let's go ahead and hoop the materials. Bottom of the Mighty Hoop, tear away stabilizer. Grab your piece of marine vinyl. You don't need this piece of felt until later on in the project. Let's go ahead and head over to the embroidery machine. So I like to film my tutorials from start to finish. I already showed you guys a little sneak peek of what I did in the Brilliance platform. I downloaded it to my red USB, so now I'm going to go ahead and turn on the machine. Make sure that you put a drop of oil. It's just going to remind you every time you turn on your machine. The machine will move. Keep your hands away from the machine. All right, so again, our design is already on our USB. So we're going to go ahead and push the USB button after we plug this in. Go to your USB button right here. I'm going to look for my design. There's my design right there. I labeled it teacher key fob. We're going to go ahead and set it. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and update the colors to make sure that the colors that we selected in Brilliance match the colors that I have on the machine. And I'll show you which colors. So we're going to go ahead and update the colors. Color, let's see, yep, I want that pink, red, yellow, purple, no I don't want that purple, I wanted it blue actually. I'm going to use this beautiful teal color there. That color might look like turquoise or teal, but I have it set in the system as green. So we're going to go ahead and go green. Pink, red, yellow, green. All four key fobs are the same. These two at the bottom are just smaller.
stitch out just finished and this is what it looks like now. The In The Hoop project just completed and this is what it looks like now. This is the front. This is the back. Let's go ahead and cut them out. Alrighty creators, so now we're on the final step of this project. I did want to go ahead and show you guys a few more supplies that I did forget to mention at the beginning. If you have one of these Fiskars rotary cutters, I do recommend that you use that. Today I'll be finishing the project using these Fiskars fine tip scissors. The reason why I'm using them is because I know that not everybody has a rotary cutter. And then I don't know how I forgot to show you guys this tool. This is called the We Are Memory Keepers crop -a dial I use this, if you look right here, I use it to punch holes in projects. It's similar to an awl. Mainly people use this tool for paper crafting. It sets eyelets. I just use it basically as a hole puncher. Alrighty, go ahead and take your Mighty Hoops. You can go ahead and rip them apart now. Remember right here where the lip is kind of sticking out? That's They do that so that it's easier for you to open the Mighty Hoops. Go ahead and pull it right here. The recommended way to store the Mighty Hoops is for the bottom magnet to be on top, just like that. Just go ahead and take your scissors and if you see any tails hanging off, just go ahead and cut them off. All right, so today we made four in the hoop key fobs. However, on this tutorial, I'm only gonna cut out one just to speed up the process. So this is what it looks like. This is the felt on the back side and the marine vinyl and the embroidery thread on the front side. And now I'm gonna show you how I poke holes into it and apply the cam snaps. It just poked two holes into the marine vinyl. So now I'm just gonna see what color I like best to go with this color combination.
I think pink. So the pieces that you see here, these are just the cutouts. These are just the pieces that came out from the hole puncher. Just toss them away. When you're working with the cam steps, you want to make sure you have two of these pokey parts. And then you're going to have this part right here. They call this one the boy part. Because it kind of sticks out. And then you want to have one girl part like that. And then again, you're going to have two of the pokey ones that look like this. Alrighty. So I'll show you, I'll go ahead and show you how it works. You have your cam snap tool that looks like this and the bottom, the, this black part right here, This black part right here, you want to make sure that the pokey part goes down to the bottom and the girl or boy part is going to go to the top. But first what you want to do is you want to decide how it's going to be oriented on your project. So I'll just go ahead and show you. Alright, so you're going to have the pink part here and then you're going to also have a pink part here. So we went ahead, so what we did is we went ahead and took our pointy part, right? We're just going to go ahead and stick it in the hole right there. And then you're going to take your tool, you're going to stick this pink part right here onto the black part right here. So it's going to look like this. You have it seated in here. Once you have the pointy part seated into this black thing and it fits perfectly into the groove, go ahead and take either your boy part or your girl part, right? And just stick it right on top. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a piece. I wish I could show you guys this closer. And you're, oh yeah, it, it did focus very nice all right so basically I have the pokey part on the bottom I have the pokey part on the bottom then I put the fob and then I put the additional piece right there now when I squish it together this white rubber piece is going to be pushed against this right here so this is how I do it I just put it right down right there and I just use my body weight to close it right see now it's pressed closed Just use your body weight. All right, then you can go ahead and open it up and you'll see that you have installed one cam snap so far. Woo woo! All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and install the other cam snap. So we need one more cam snap right here so that it can hold the split ring. All right, so go ahead and take the other piece, put it on there like that, turn it upside down. This handheld cam snap, there's kind of like an indentation here where this cam snap fits in there perfectly. So just go like that. It sits right in there. Take your extra piece you have here. Oops. You're going to put it on top of the knob. What you're going to do is you're going to use your body weight. Use your body weight to just close it up. All right, now you see we have two cam snaps installed and you can see this part. This is how it's gonna close. So you have the front of the keychain. All right, so the last part of this project is you wanna install your split ring. The last part is we're gonna be installing the split ring. All you have to do, you just take your project 
slide the split ring right onto it and then close it up. Creators, we just finished our in the hoop project. If you stayed all the way to the end, I just want to let you know how much I appreciate it. Alrighty creators, so we just finished our tutorial for this in the hoop key fob project. Hopefully it was easy to understand, easy to follow along. If you have any comments or advice for me, please leave them in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. Bye. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Ding. Rock and rock and rock rock. Please like and subscribe. And bye bye. Bye bye. Oh God. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. We would Bye. love for you to please like and subscribe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>